Why did Altair ibn Lahad meditate in the 2007 Assassin's Creed game? I want to focus more on lore explanation, but let's get a quick look at mechanics design. First Assassin's Creed game has a terrible saving system based on weirdly placed checkpoints. Those meditation sessions happen between investigation phase and assassination phase, so players haven't had to repeat entire investigation if they failed during assassination or they wanted to end gaming session right before it. In the next game they fix the problem by dividing the plot into smaller chunks called memories and saving during and right after them. Now, with that out of the way, let's focus on in-game explanation. There isn't a clear one, but many hints were dropped throughout the entire story, so let's try to pick them up and make a clear picture. Now, what do we know about Altair? Yes, he's the first assassin we ever met. He is the ancestor of Desmond Miles. He reformed the Brotherhood. But what's more important for this topic, he's a member of Levantine branch of assassins. What does it mean? That it's freaking hot in the area he works. He works in the field, so he has no luxury in sitting all day in cool and shady places, like bureau leaders. He works in an open field, so he jumps over walls, rooftops, sometimes dealing in fights with city guards. He investigates in the burning sun of the Holy Land, stalks people, eavesdrops, etc. All of that is tiring, and of course, he needs rest after all that to be at full strength when he goes for assassination. Especially Hunt for the Nine, which is the main storyline of the first Assassin's Creed game. He needs those skills to be successful, as his rank and place in Brotherhood depends on it. So is that all? He meditates because he is tired? Not quite. Here we have to go back a little and see how the game is constructed. Many times during the game Animus makes tiny time skips to make story progression flow better for a player. So, as I mentioned, meditation is a saving point for the player, but also makes Altair rest and wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. He is no Ezio, Connor or any other assassin that just stumbles upon good conditions to kill his target. He is patient when it comes to waiting for a moment that will be convenient to him to strike. He sets in motion some events that have potential to grant him a better way to end his target's life, and you need time to see the fruits of your labor. Is that it? I think there is one more thing worth mentioning. We know that Altair isn't just sleeping, he's meditating. What does it mean? He is resting, that's true, but he also has time to think. What is Altair thinking about? He is probably trying to get his head around the plans of his master. During scenes, when we see those two talking, we see that Altair has been thinking a lot about Al Mualim's words. He makes his own conclusions. Of course, we see him when he talks about it with bureau leaders, but his thoughts aren't clear in those moments. So probably he spends his meditations on thinking about those. And that makes those meditations valuable and key to the plot.